Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. Um, today here, we're going to take a look and see whether or not you can trust your person. So can you trust their energy? Can you trust what they tell you? Can you trust your feelings? Um, these messages are general, guys, so please just keep that in mind. So they're not being tailored to anyone specifically. They are general messages. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here in this um, in the section below. Okay, um, so we'll give the cards a shuffle here and see um, what it is that they're predicting for you here. So can you trust your person? Can you trust the energy here? here, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Wands. And it's not in frame, let me just fix that. Okay, so we're asking whether or not you can trust them. Well, so far the cards here are indicating that, um, that there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential within the, um, within the connection and within their energy here. Now you've got the suit of pentacles here and that's um, that's come up twice here as well as the as well as the cups the suit of cups here the king of cups tells me that you are dealing with someone who is they're emotionally mature they're emotionally um, intelligent um, and whether or not the two of you engage into any tumultuous um, situations your person will they won't overwhelm themselves I feel like this is someone who is um, more than happy to work through things okay this is someone who i feel like has that maturity and they have that intelligence to navigate emotional territories your person's energy feels very focused okay this person is very ambitious i can see they're very driven um they're very loyal as well this is someone who i feel like they i don't think they're interested in um, anything casual or i don't think they're interested in wasting your time nor their time to be honest with you i feel like this is someone who um their energy feels like it's very promising or there's a lot of potential they're also someone who i said if a problem comes up um this is someone who is more than likely to try and resolve the issue okay they have no problems in addressing any concerns or any issues that might affect the relationship um, they're very hardworking, therefore I'm um, seeing that they're very focused, they're very driven, um, very, I feel like this, this is someone who's very committed, okay, if you are dealing with an earth energy, it's a very stable kind of energy here, and if you are dealing with the water energy, I feel like this person is very committed to their emotions and to what it is that they feel for you, okay, so, so far it looks like this is a trustworthy energy, um, so far it looks like you're dealing with someone who I feel like, yeah, you can trust them and you can trust this connection and you can trust what you're feeling, um, and even if you can't, even if you, you know, seem to disagree with this reading, perfectly okay. Um, and even if you feel like, okay, I don't think I can trust my emotions. Um, okay, well then, you know, trust your intuition, okay, in that case. Um, but I feel like it's, um, for a lot of you, it's looking good. With the Ten of Cups, I feel like something is coming into, something is lining up for you. It's um, Something is coming into manifestation. Um, for those of you that have been trying to, you're trying to work through something, okay? You, you, I feel like some of you are trying to fix or repair something or work on something between you and this inner energy. I do feel like you're going to come out of it because I feel like something here lines up for you in the next few weeks or the next few months. Um, and this is good because I feel like you and your energy are on the same, um, you and your romantic person are on the same frequency. I feel like you're both wanting the same things here. With the Ten of Cups, I feel like this is someone who is... And this is someone who I feel like can give you, um, can give you that relationship, can give you that you know storybook romance here that you're craving or that you've always wanted. Uh, I feel like this is someone who wants commitment, and this is someone who um, wants marriage and who wants you know to have children, or they want to settle down, they want to move in together. This is someone who I feel like has plans for the future. So you can trust when they tell you that they're after commitment. 
or that they're after um, you know loyalty and security that's what they want but beware they ask of the same in return I mean it's only fair right um, you can't give without taking or you can't take without giving yeah that's better um, speaking of giving and taking the six of Pentacles I feel like you've got a um, okay normally I feel like it's a the Six of Pentacles is a dis disproportionate energy purely because I feel like, you know, the scales here are imbalanced and I feel like the characters here uh, are on different ends of the spectrum here. But I feel like in your case here, it, it works um, it works differently because I feel like your person here is, this is someone who's going to, you know, who, who's happy to give as well as um, receive. So this is someone who I feel like has a very generous nature, has a very generous spirit here. Okay, and you can trust you can trust their loyalty. You can trust. You can trust their commitment towards you. You can trust um, what they say to you here, because I feel like their energy here is very loyal, very trustworthy. He very um, full of potential here. Now, with the Queen of Swords, I can also see that maybe some of you are dealing with someone whom is. I mean, this is someone who's a straight shooter, and you can always trust a person who tells it like it is, because they're not holding back, they don't fabricate, you know, um, the truth, they don't give you a version of it. So some of you are dealing with someone who's very, um, maybe they can come across as blunt, or very honest, or they can come across as cold, but I feel like this is someone who is very direct in their approach. You can trust that about them, though it maybe sometimes comes off the wrong way, a little bit cold, a little bit distant, or a little bit like, oh, okay, well, that, you know, um, that that might have been received a little bit um, icy, but I feel like you can trust their straight um, forwardness here. You can definitely trust their direct energy, and I feel like this is someone who is being honest with you, okay, because a Queen of Swords is someone who, I mean, she's a very independent free spirit, a very independent energy, and she values truth and honesty above all else. It's a, you know, it's a big deal to her. So this is your person's energy. I feel like your person, your connection is built on a foundation of truth. Okay. Um, I, I don't feel like this person is, um, I don't think this person is manipulating you. I don't feel like this person is deceiving you. I feel like you've got a good thing going and I feel like this person is honest. Now, for a lot of you, I keep um, going back to that you're wanting to fix something, or this person wants to fix something, or they want to work something. It's salvageable. I'm getting the message that this is salvageable, and you have to trust me when I say this. Trust me <laughs> when I say this, um, that this person really, really, really wants to work on it, or this person really, really, really wants to work through this, whatever this is. If they've done something wrong by you, if they've, you know, um, hurt you in any way, I feel like this person really wants to make it right. They really want to make it better. Um, and they're being honest about it, okay? If, whether you're, tr um, whether or not you're doubting their honesty, I feel like it's important that you know that this person is being honest. When they say they want to fix this or they want to work on this and they, they, they want to improve themselves or, you know, they want to um, work through this issues, whatever they, they may be for you. There's a lot of honesty in what they say, a lot of truth to what they say. And with the Page of Wands energy, I can feel like this is someone who I feel like you've brought a lot of excitement into this person's life. There's a lot of excitement here. There's um, a lot of energy here. You've injected a lot of enthusiasm into their life here. Um, there's definitely a spark between you and this person, um, a very strong indication of a romantic interest. And I feel like this person is really excited to move to the next chapter with you. This person is really excited to move forward here and just to, um, they're excited in seeing, you know, what plans the two of you can develop for one another in the future here. Okay, they're definitely, and I feel like the card, you know, the, this card has also shown up because a lot of you, are, I feel like you're, some of you are looking ahead. I don't know why. Maybe you have some future plans with this person. Um, maybe like it, it is an engagement or it's a wedding or you want to travel and see this person or you, you, you have an intimate um, dinner date that's coming up. I, I feel like you, you can trust those feelings. You know, that feeling of excitement or those butterflies that you get in your stomach. You can trust that because that is telling you, you know, there's a chemistry there. It exists. There's an attraction. There's, you know, a romantic interest. And the two of you have sparked an interest in one another. So you definitely can trust that. All right, guys. And that is all. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages uh, later in the week, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again, and bye for now.